find a 99.5% confidence interval for a sample size of 117 with 18 successes. The formula for a confidence interval for a single sample is p hat plus or minus z star times the square root of p hat 1 minus p hat over the sample size. We have the sample size n is equal to 117. p hat is equal to the number of successes over the sample size, which in this case is 18 over 117, rounding to four decimal places, 18 divided by 117 is 0 0.1538. Uh, we need to find z star, so z star for a 99.5 percent. So if this is a standard normal and these are z values, we have 99.5 percent in the middle. And this is our z star and this is negative z star. To find the proportion in each tail, 100 minus 99.5 divided by 2 is equal to a quarter upper percent and a quarter upper percent. So to find z star it's going to be equal to inverse norm. It's going to be 0.9975 a quarter and a half makes 75 and then 0, 01. Typing that in the calculator second distribution inverse norm it's going to be 0.9975 and then we don't need to enter the 0, 1. We get uh, 2.807. So this is 2.807, which seems about right because we have memorized that 99% is uh, 2.576. So this is a little bit more. Substituting all of these values in for p hat, we get or uh, into the formula up here, p hat plus or minus z star. So we have p hat, which is 0.1538, plus or minus uh, z star, which is 2.807, times the square root of 0.5738, 1 minus 0.1538, over a sample size of 117. Typing this into the calculator. 0.38 plus 2.807 times the square root of 0.1538, 1 minus 0.1538 divided by the sample size of 117. This gives a right value of 0.2474. And then if I do a second enter, it brings up the previous screen, and I'll change this to a minus and a left value of 0 0.0602. So our confidence interval is from 6% uh, to 24, 25% or so. This can also be done on the calculator completely. To do this on the calculator, I would go to uh, stat tests, and this is a one proportion Z test, one proportion Z test. Our um, sample proportion is 18 divided by 117. Our, oh, excuse me, this is not a test. This is a confidence interval. So it's stat test, a one sample, one proportion Z interval. There we go. Uh, we have 117 number of, excuse me, 18 successes. Sample size is 117 and the confidence level is 0.995. We get calculate and we get the same values that we did below.